Howdy gamers, Patrick Icky Jr. here, Editor-in-Chief of ReviewFix.com, bringing you the next edition of Gemmer Junk. This week out we are going to be playing 300 March to Glory on the Sony PSP. Legendary bitchers. Um, listen, if this is your first time watching a Gemmer Junk, um, I just pick a game, I have some fun with it. Usually 99.9% .9 of the time it's a game that I've never played. So let me just tell you, 300... Um, this movie was hot fire when it came out. This movie crushed it at the box office. This movie was awesome. The comic that it is based on... Oh, the comic that it's based on is one of my favorite comics of all time. By the amazing Frank Miller. Um, we're talking Frank Miller, Daredevil, Frank uh, Miller, Wolverine, Ronin. Bad ass. Confident. Confident. Savoring the, Savoring the meal, to meal to come. The beast that approached. approached. And it was like, King uh, Leonidas himself. So, when this game was announced for PSP, I was a brand new PSP owner. Didn't have a lot to play. Um, truth be told, was disappointed by many, many PSP games. Ended up playing NFL Street 2 more than anything on the PSP. Death Jr. was a disappointment for me. I was really looking forward to that. The NHL Gretzky games, I was looking forward to those. Brotherhood of the Blade, I wanted a Champions of Norath game on the PSP. was disappointed in that. Um, this was another one of those games that I had on my wish list back in the day. And uh, saw the reviews come in. And I was young. I was stupid. To the old and I didn't pick it up. I didn't support the cause. And guys, I tell people this all the time, especially now. But I'm in the video game industry as a voice actor and sometimes writer, sometimes dialogue editor. Don't take, like, reviews 100%. That's why we have things like this, like Gemmer Junk now, where I kind of, like, go back and play the games that I should have played a long time ago. So, again, I have been waiting to play this for quite some time. to the hot gates. So now I'm at the hot gates. There's all these dead Xerxes, people. The god king of Persia, the devourer of nations. We few stand against him. Guys, um... Against a horde the voice acting in this game so is pretty much lifted directly march. from the film. It's badass. So now, Spartans, let's play this. Attack. Oh, okay. Every time you kill an enemy, your legend grows, earning you Kletos. Greek renown in honor. Please use Kletos to upgrade your character's equipment and abilities. Please start to continue. I will. Alright, so X for light attacks. Wrath is shown in yellow in the HUD. If you guys don't know what a HUD is, it's a heads-up display. You build Wrath each time you hit an enemy. To perform a Wrath attack, hold the R button while attacking. More powerful Wrath continues. Uh, more powerful Wrath attacks consume more Wrath. Okay. Heavy attacks. Ooh, I like that. This is very God of War, obviously, just from playing the first couple of seconds. I got shield attacks, too. Ooh. So you got... Here we go. You can switch weapons. You've got your uh, other schmagoogies here to switch. And you've got your typical sword. But now you've got... You've got your shield attack. You've got your light attack. And you've got your heavy attack. So again, let's go again. Shield. Pretty cool. Right? Um, then you've got your light attack, and then you've got your, ah, your heavy attack. Okay. So this is pretty, this is pretty straight up. This is pretty, um. Come, Persian horse! Let your master see how deeply the blade swung by freeborn men cleave! This is pretty, uh, straight up. I don't know if you'd be able to call somebody a Persian war in a game today. And now Persian slaves. It's, I mean, it's pretty, you know, um, connected to the graphic novel and film. So, battle skill unlock fortitude when you're filled with one bar of wrath. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So now. Okay, what's this? Collect Spartan with the bonus material. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna play like at least the first level here. So now we got Shield Bay. So we got boom, boom, boom. That's pretty cool. 
Alright, that works. When the sky darkens, a Persian arrow volley is about to rain down on you. Okay, defend by holding the L and R button. This will perform a top tail maneuver. Okay. Okay. It's more of like a long range thing right here. I'm not a fan of that one. Okay. The enemies are pretty mindless in this. Uh, granted, this is just the first level that I don't feel like overtly challenged, like in the least. I am getting attacked. My legendary Greek uh, support system isn't uh, helping me. I'm not even getting attacked. These guys just keep backing up. And the thing is, like, uh, if you watch 300, it's just like... These guys just non-stop attack. So again, this is just, um... I'm just... I, I'm button mashing. At this point. Okay, I don't know what I just did, but I did something. Okay. Alright. All these guys are dead. Lots of flies. Okay, rescue the Spartans. The, the camera does not move. So you're kind of stuck in this view. For a game that came out in like 2005, 2004, should be able to move the should be able to move the camera around to navigate a little better. The screen ends right here. So this has pseudo 3D basically. This is a side scroller at heart. Okay. Why is that guy just standing there? Okay. So it's like this game is trying to do a lot based on the voiceover, based on the, the music is awesome. So now all of these character sprites are exactly the same. All of them, even the enemies. Okay, the yellow bar on top corner is your command bar. Okay. So now this is like waves of guys. This this is pretty brainless. Um, I'm I'm just I'm literally tapping buttons. There's there's really like not a lot of skill in this. Trying to move forward. You guys see, I'm just, I'm basically button mashing here. This is not fun. <laughs> the music is great. The voiceover is great. Uh, yeah. That's my first little run through with 300. Um, Gemma Junk, I'm going to say um, this is a movie tie in that probably could have used a little bit more time in the oven. Granted, I haven't played it a lot, but again, look, all the character models are exactly the same. It's got great voice acting, it's got great music. The cutscenes look really good, but overall, I mean, this is a game that I really don't want to spend any more time with.